Hello, I'm Pastor Mark of Overbrook Presbyterian Church. I'd like to invite you to spend the next few moments with me reflecting on God's Word. Today we continue in Romans 15, verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. We're continuing to take just little bites of this verse. It's so packed with, with meaning and encouragement and hope and with descriptions of the generosity and the great provision that is ours through our God and Father. We've read previous to today May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. And today we're looking at so that you may overflow with hope. Now, again, this whole little verse is packed with indications of the generosity of God. May God fill you, which is filled beyond capacity, filled to overflowing and with all joy and peace as you trust in him and now again here today we see this idea of that you may overflow with hope not that you just have a little bit of hope just enough to get you by just enough to get you through the day without deciding you can't carry on no but so that you may overflow with hope now, Paul said that he wanted God to fill us with all joy and peace. So the joy and the peace relate to the hope. The joy relates to the delight of anticipation in seeing our hopes fulfilled. And the peace results from the assurance that God will fulfill the hopes that we have. So the joy comes from delighting and anticipating seeing those hopes fulfilled. And the peace comes from the knowledge and the assurance that God will fulfill those hopes. So you see this joy and peace and hope are just kind of like the, the trifecta of the love of God. He provides it all. He establishes the joy and the peace and the hope through who he is and how he provides all that we need. You see, as we experience our relationship with God as believers, we trust in him. And as a result, we find ourselves overflowing with hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for spending this time with me today, reflecting on the Word of God for the people of God.